what's up everybody it's a girl with me welcome back to another vlog guys i haven't spoken to y'all in so long but it's okay we are here today and today i have you guys a vloggy vlog i apologize for mia okay but we are here today guys so it's a holiday and we took kobe to the zoo for the very very first time and uh, i'm here to share the journey with y'all most of the recordings are not in the correct um size for youtube so guys i do apologize for that but i still wanted to let it out there for you so let's start from the beginning so here i am at home getting ready and now being a mom listen you don't have all the time in the world to do your makeup y'all so i literally do just the quickest thing to get out the house conceal the eyebrows a bit because in my opinion once your eyebrows is done and you hit a little concealer there you are good to go okay you are good to go so kobe is ready his dad is ready and it was just me to get dressed and we are on the road i gave kobe some back braids because i just wanted to see how it would look on him and he looked really really cute y'all but your girl unloose it because i just love to see my baby with his hair open he looks so nice and i'm using the detangle me baby from fro babies what this does y'all is a leave-in conditioner and let's just say um I didn't get time to wash Kobe hair or anything like that. I apologize for that noise. Um, you can just put this conditioner in his hair and it will soften it. For baby's um, thing, look at my baby. We arrived, y'all. We are here at the zoo. It has been a long time since um, we came to the zoo. Well, this is Kobe's first time, as I mentioned. And y'all look at it. Look, look at my baby. Okay, look at my baby. Once he goes into that stroller, y'all, he gets an attitude. Okay, he has to warm up a bit because he really loves to be on his own, do his own thing, walk around. So we had to go by the ticket station, get our ticket. It was a holiday, okay, Independence Day. So there were a lot of people at the zoo as well. But nevertheless, girl, we had a really good time. We reached like afternoon time. Next time, I'll definitely go earlier because sometimes I forget that the zoo takes up so many hours. This thing we saw, the first animal we saw was the macaws and the old Kobe was crying because they were so aggressive and they were like they were being aggressive to him and probably i had the stroller too close to the cage i don't know but they were like you know they are very they are very rough when they're ready and like that scared him a bit so he was a little scared he cried a little bit and that was the only thing he cried for other than that we just did our regular um um site visit of the area of the animals so we looked at turtles flamingos and let me tell you all something my boyfriend did not want to walk with the stroller and i told him let's walk with the stroller and he was glad we did we were glad we did because the stroller can actually hold all the you know bags and so on that we had to carry if we did not walk with that y'all we would have had to be toting the bags and kobe so kobe was in love with the flamingos y'all so beautiful you all know when you enter on that side in the zoo it's really really nice but of course the most fascinating part and exciting part for kobe is walking once we took him out of that stroller look at the expression on my boy face once he was in the stroller y'all we was not getting him to be himself as much but once we let him out of that stroller girl he was going in <laughs> he was making all the sounds and uh, so on you know he was really looking at the animals and them that were moving obviously ones that were sleeping he were really not doing the most because i mean he's a baby still you know he definitely love monkeys guys everything is a baboon there's this dog you all know we have a million dogs um he just love we call her um baboon because we love animals in this house also my dad and my boyfriend they look at animal channel like every all day so we, she resembles that she is cute we call her jub jub but her, we call her baboon and everything is a baboon for him y'all baboon 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 <laughs> so then we had a look at the otters and so on and uh, i think i'm going to kind of stop talking now so y'all can just hear the natural sounds of the animals and then i'll get back in okay Oh, 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 oh. 
What's that rule now? We do it. Okay? So you take that, he let you fight? Yeah. Me, but wow. Okay. Okay, he has all this here. All me. Hello. Zebra. Zebra. Listen, it took us so many hours to tell the zoo. Sometimes I forget that. It takes you so long to tell this if you want to see every single animal, as I mentioned before. By the time we reached by the giraffes, we were all burnt, sweaty. <laughs> That's another thing, you know, the zoo was so hot. But when we entered the areas with the fishes and so on, they were easy. So we spent a lot of time in there just to cool off a bit. And uh, Kobe definitely loved, of course, this because, you know, he gets to move around. Because there wasn't a lot of people in the fish area at the time we went and then we had one of these zookeepers that you know allowed us to touch the fish one of the fish and so on so it was so hot y'all i had to change kobe's clothes i wish i could have changed mine as well so i rehydrated him with some juice and some water changed his outfit and y'all i kind of regretted unloosing his braids because his plaits because listen i had to just whip up something quick for him because his hair is so thick he was feeling really warm so i had to just you know do a quick thing there and uh, you look at this animal like look at this jaguar what so cute i know right but dangerous and deadly <laughs> um they are so serious you know, so serious so we had the kangaroos we saw snakes birds owls um lazy lion and we really had a good time at the zoo guys like the only thing i wish the zoo had in my country in Trinidad is like little toys i know there's the area that sell toys and things but i mean i at, as you enter sell like you know i don't know like i don't know like some pretty animal toys or something so yeah Nice boy. Oh, Lord. So what you see? Also wish they had like snow cones, like snow cone vendors and so on. But maybe they do. I don't know. Probably probably they wasn't there when I was there. Okay guys, so you all know this sign means that Kobe's ready to sleep, he's ready to go. Okay, he's tired and uh, we have just had to look at the otters and thing one more time. He definitely tried to touch the, the otters like he because they were moving and of course you all I mean he feels like game so beautiful this was the most beautiful part for me for the evening and I believe for Kobe also and yeah guys that was it and uh, we actually had to leave when the zoo was about to close because as I said y'all we reached kind of late which was like around three half three and that's kind of late to go to the zoo y'all because by the time you walk around take a break eat so on you want to go again you know so guys do take care of yourself i hope you enjoy my little vloggy vlog um i'm trying my best to get back on here and vlogging for you guys and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video do take care of yourself bye